Okay, so welcome to part two of the video on uh, the topological definition of continuity. Now, in this video, we are going to prove uh, that uh, if you have a function, if you have a function f uh, between two metric spaces, uh, let's say x and d, uh, which imbues a natural topology u, and um, another uh, metric space, let's say y, this is y, uh, with d bar and another topology, the natural topology associated with this d bar, which we'll call u bar, uh, then basically what we want to show is that if f is continuous with respect to the topologies, continuous with respect to the topologies, uh, then it is continuous in the metrical sense as well. Topologies, uh, it's continuous in the metrical sense. Continuity, so that the topological continuity implies continuity in the metrical sense. Okay, uh, so uh, let's say let's let's let let little x be an element of big X. So any point, and what we're going to show is that f is actually continuous in the metrical sense at every single point in this metric space x. Okay, so let x be an arbitrary point in big X then it has a corresponding point f of x uh, in, um, in y. So f of x is an element of y. Uh, take the open ball uh, around f of x of size epsilon. So let epsilon be greater than 0. Be greater than 0. Take the open ball uh, of size epsilon, so this dotted ball here of size epsilon, around f of x. This is an open set. Therefore, this is an element of u bar. Now, uh, because it is continuous in the topological sense, that implies that the inverse image of this open set, the inverse image of this open ball centered at f of x of radius epsilon is going to be an open set in this, in this uh, metric space here. So it's going to be an element of u. So if we draw it, it might not be an open ball anymore, but it's going to be some open set which I should have drawn with hashed lines like that. Okay, so some open set over here. Okay, so because it's an open set, um, it implies that the point x is in tier... Well, firstly, x is certainly an element of the inverse image of f inverse of the ball uh, 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 centred around f of x of radius epsilon, because uh, within this ball is the point f of x itself, and its inverse image is the point x. It might be more than just the point x, because more points might be mapped onto f of x, but it certainly contains x, so x is certainly an, an element of this. Uh, and if this is open, then x must be an interior point, is interior in f inverse of this open ball centered at f of x with radius epsilon. Uh, now that implies that there must exist, uh, let's call it a little delta greater than zero, such that the open ball centered around x of radius delta is completely contained within this f inverse of this open ball centered around f of x of radius epsilon. So what I'm saying is I must be able to find you a little open ball of radius delta that's completely contained within this open set uh, f inverse uh, of this open ball over here. Okay? Now, uh, if I take the image of that, oh, if I take any point, if I take uh, a little y, which is an element of this open ball uh, centered at x of radius delta, then its image, f of y, uh, well, y is certainly an element of this inverse image of this set here, which is the f inverse of this open ball over here. So this is the ball, uh, the open ball of f of x uh, of at the center of the f of x of radius epsilon. So y is in here, uh, and therefore it's going to be mapped onto this. Um, onto this, in, it's going to be mapped within this open ball here. So f of y is going to be an element of this open ball centered at f of x of radius epsilon. Uh, so basically what I've done is I have do satisfied the condition for continuity. I've said, uh, you give me an epsilon greater than zero, uh, construct an open ball uh, around the point f of x of size epsilon, and I will find you an open ball uh, around the point x of size delta such that it will be mapped into there. So I have found you an open ball which is going to be mapped into there uh, just using the definitions of topological continuity. So basically topological continuity does imply continuity, topological continuity implies metrical continuity everywhere. Metrical continuity on all little x for all 
little x is an element of big X. So metrical continuity and topological continuity are completely the same thing when you uh, view the topology on this space as being the natural one uh, generated by the metric, i.e. the one that's associated with the metric. Okay, so that's all for this video.